G'day chaps, I thought you might like to firstly have a look at the final build of the machine I've had so many problems with. Um, if you've been following my channel for a little while you'll know that I obviously made a mistake with the motherboard I bought initially but the new one is in and it's all running really nice. It's really nice and quiet. It's a really really good machine, very happy with it. Um, but today what I really want to show you is the old machine the l because we've got it set up there's the Xbox there but I haven't actually turned the Xbox on since I put this the old PC in the living room so that's where it lives and here we are with Steam specifically I want to show you this feature as soon as the camera gets better and this is streaming so this is streaming from the new machine to the old machine so from the new PC which is obviously more powerful to this old PC which is sitting there here in the living room. Now, um, obviously have the uh, wireless mouse and wireless keyboard connected so that we can actually use the PC, use it from the sofa. Um, I love this setup, it's fantastic to have Netflix and, and yeah, access to email. Um, I've got the Xbox 360 controller connected to um, the PC which I would absolutely recommend for anybody and everybody who's interested in a kind of setup like this. Um, and what I'm about to show you here is really just the fact that it works. Um, so this is the this is streaming from the old machine, which is in the uh, the other room, the man cave there. And I'm able to control it from this machine here in the living room. And I, I completely found this feature by accident. Um, there's the Xbox 360 receiver, which is kind of a pain to set up, but once it's set up, it's good. And there's how it actually runs on the machine it's streaming from. So on the uh, the TV in the living room, I've got it on uh, 1920 by 1080p. And obviously, because I've got these uh, three screens in the man cave there. That means it's only going to be running from a single window. So it's basically streaming that single window through to the living room. Um, it's not perfect. Um, but on the other hand, this is also because I've not really fussed around with any of the settings. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you that you, I'm actually controlling it. But this, uh, the Xbox 360 controller, is, as you saw, it's connected to the, the machine in the living room. It's just that the signal goes far enough. So, let me show you what the service actually looks like. So the sound is obviously coming through the living room here. And... I think, yeah. You see that little flickering? And that slowdown? Um, I've had varying degrees of performance. Uh, I've been playing Mad Max through the living room, and it was, it was great. It was good enough to actually record on. And um, I recorded the Mad Max video and the Mad Max review footage from the living room and that was streaming from the other machine. Um, Dying Light seems to be a bit more patchy but I don't know if this is to do with optimization or settings or... yeah, I need to actually play around with it. Um, I just really wanted to show you some of the features. It's obviously got Logitech, Logitech mouse and keyboard I would absolutely recommend. I've tried others. I actually bought another um, another mouse, a slightly cheaper one, and it just didn't work. Didn't work out of the box. Um, I ended up throwing it away. Uh, whereas Logitech, I've never had any kind of issues with. Just showing you a little bit of Firewatch here. And again, this is streaming from the other machine. Just want to show you the uh, the performance and the fact that. Obviously, it loads just as quick as normal. And on this one, you can't control it with the Xbox 360 controller, so you have to grab the keyboard. And yeah, <laughs> I know it looks a little bit weird having the keyboard on your 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 lap like this. And I'm using the mouse, the wireless mouse. On a, I use cushions as my sort of uh, my mouse pad, but. I've been doing it so long that once you get used to it, it's it's weird to do anything else. Um, I can't really imagine 
not having a PC. I mean, anybody who has a console knows how infuriating it is to be restricted into the um, into Microsoft's um, setup, into software, not having full control over the software, not being able to install your own programs. We on the Xbox there, we actually had uh, Netflix installed, and you know we're running. Uh, a program that lets us watch US Netflix because we're in Australia and it's the performance is so patchy and this is just a tiny example of the kind of thing you can only really do on PC so yeah the other really good thing finally is that you can use an old machine in the living room 